I guess. You know what? The daylight is looking pretty nice. Unboxing the materials for my new business, Yaki Global. Yaki apparel, trinkets and totems, handmade, sculpted by me. And telling you what my intentions for the brand is, the business is. No. Yes, but no. Yes, but no. I thought that it was gonna come on Valentine's Day. PVA glue, a big old five litre bottle of PVA glue. One litre of coconut oil. Mod Podge mat. A dry brush set. A regular brush set. No wait, these are clay tools actually. These are clay tools. Clay tools. I need to buy a microphone. I need to buy a microphone so I can like. But we're doing cutting shower. Mm -hmm. A silicone mat for clay and painting. I had to show my ID for this. Exacto knives to cut the clay. Maybe this is the paints. I hope this is the paints. This doesn't feel like it's gonna be the paints. I guess it's gonna be glue. Gorilla glue. One with a micro tip for those little details and then one with a brush nozzle for like the wider details i'll make sure it stays i want to make sure it stays a roller for the clay acrylic i thought this was gonna be bigger and i thought this was gonna be clear what i thought this was gonna be the clear acrylic acrylic i'm about to leave a bad review you're supposed to peel it off i didn't peel it off yes it's what i wanted also um Maybe we'll just like cover it with stickers, I don't know. I want some cute butterfly stickers, they'll be coming soon. Okay, so it came quicker than I expected. I can't make the clay yet because the recipe I'm using is with corn flour, corn starch to PVA glue one to one. And then two tablespoons of coconut oil and then two tablespoons of vinegar to preserve it and those are on the way <laughs> it's thinner than i expected I'm going to need like a, I mean, I'm working on the floor for now. When I upscale, when I get those standing desks, that like you can adjust the height and then be working standing up and then just be like stretching my back and then getting like a bit of cardio in as I work. I don't want to be sitting because I don't want to be like with my posture. Maybe outside because I, my, my table's outside. So I might, but it's just getting dust on the clay, um, which I am like. But maybe, maybe I might work outside. You know what, for summer days it'll be nice. In like a shady sunny day, that might be nice. I'll put this on the table and I can work that. I like the little like indents that they have for the paint. But it's thinner than I expected. I, I thought it was going to be like thicker than this. This is like almost a cloth. But you know what, I'm going to warm up to it. I'm going to warm up to it because it's nine now. They were using resin, but I don't want to... I UV resin is expensive, and you have to mix it, and I didn't want more mixing. After I mix the clay, I just want to coat it with this. And also, I don't like the shine. I don't think I want my sculptures to have like a gloss finish. I want them to have a matte. So I'm going to paint really thin layers of this. Um, my intentions... To begin with, I just want to get used to the clay and see what I can do. I've been looking at a lot of references and seeing what other people are doing, other miniatures, people that are selling earrings and charms and all of those other little things. A lot of miniature food and I'm thinking like I'm 
like unless like food is part of a bigger piece like i'm using like food to like censor a nipple like i don't think i'm gonna sculpt food why would i need to censor a nipple because i want my brand to be about sacred sexuality i want my brand to commemorate sexuality for the purity that it is and the beauty that it holds nature sex sexuality nudity beauty i'm gonna be sculpting a lot of that so we're gonna see a lot of naked bodies and i was thinking okay but like i won't be able to post it online like on like instagram and stuff and then that's where the fruit comes in we can make little pasties out of fruit <laughs> on the statues and then like instead of sculpting a lingam a penis a dick a cock we can do some bananas we can do some courgettes we can do some eggplants we can do some cucumbers we'll make it work we'll make it work but yes it's it's gonna be very naturey, very wholesome very spiritual and like god lives within what is already here the plants our human bodies nature is the first intelligence nature is the first technology that's 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 the essence of my brand The rest of my stuff will be coming um, later, but this was this was nice. This was nice. I'm gonna pastels. I hope they're great. I believe that they will be great. Fresh and new night on this pearl daylight. Another one. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> oh, it's like toxic and satisfying i like this that's a lot oh they're smaller than i thought but the range is a lot wider but the idea is to use the knife to scrape off the pigment and then use my brushes to like color like a blusher there's actually quite a bit there's a lot i want to see if i can do a piece with like all these like to get like the nice tonal range i really like the browns here planning to do some skin tones so but i wonder if it's like paint like i had um like i was doing skin tones with like oranges and browns and my art teacher said if you did an undercoat of blue it would make the browns like the oranges pop a bit more and i wonder if i could do that with these so like do an under thing of an opposite color and then put the actual color on top oh we gonna try we gonna try we messed it up a little bit they're so little. Look at these. And then if I just like... The pigment seems decent. But this is what I have now, so we're going to make it work. This is what I have, so we're going to make it work. I don't really think it's about the equipment. I think it's about how you use it. It's something that I learned from my youth pastor when she was teaching me photography and i was learning on an ipad that was pretty old like if you can get good results with this you're gonna be dope when you get a dslr and that i was that i was so i really don't think it's like the materials it's like what you do with it and that i was shout out to dominique thank you for being you and although i did not stay in the church i wanted to stay for you <laughs> I don't sound so schmoozy, but like, yeah, that was like my biggest thing because my heart wasn't in it anymore. But it's just like, oh no, we got him so close and I'm gonna break your trust. And I didn't, yeah, yeah. I really, you made me feel very, um, like older sister, mother figure, if I can go that far. But thank you, thank you. Um, while it was for the agenda of, what we believe to be soul saving at the time you are genuinely a beautiful person and i thank you for the impact that you had on me mongyo pastels <laughs> i want to clear out all my um i have a big drawer of stuff for scrapbooking my scrapbooking time i'm going through all the stuff i collected book pages pamphlets leaflets tickets and um, i'm finding that like i'll cut off the tiniest bit like this is a whole menu this is a whole menu and i only wanted the sprinkles and then i take like 
the tiny bits away and then I throw the rest away and then today everything that isn't going in the book is going on the wall or going in the bin and then this drawer is going back in the cupboard okay. and um yeah because no I mean, my stuff for yappy is coming in now and i all of this is holding energy that is keeping me kind of weighed down because even some of these tickets i'm i'm throwing away like i want i want to keep boarding passes if they're happy and this trip was traumatic like all of this has an aura to it that has been like keeping me i live in a small space like it's important to be like minimal when it comes to all of this but it's just that i don't want to scrapbook I, but i feel like now is the right time i'm getting to it I'm gonna finish it. There's a real big boy. I'm gonna finish it today. So uh, I did a lot of prepping for backgrounds because now that I've started like extending the pages, like I like to like use things to make it bigger. So I've done a lot of prepping with the backgrounds, and we're just gonna go onto these and like cover them. Yeah a lot of clutter it's a lot of clutter i feel like i'm gonna feel very light after i've done all of this and there's like everything is in this one thing or on the wall or in the bin because in my dream i just was had so much clutter it's been kind of overwhelming having the new boxes coming in and i still have a little bit of shit in here well it's good shit but it's cool we saw it i was gonna show you out the window with my flashes on i don't know i still can um this one though is cloudy but um hold on oh no i thought i could do that and i was like fuck <laughs> i'm glad that the lid is on times when i this cup has fallen over and the lid hasn't been on oh my god i had to use that whole blanket to clean it up and then um, put it in the wash like it was not the one Oh my gosh, look at these receipts. Angel numbers on receipts. 555, 1111. Love that for me. Um, yeah, I'm just showing you outside. I really like the way I've like drapes these things to like hang them up. It, it's giving art povera. It's giving art povera. I did it to dry, but it rained on them again. So I'm just going to leave them until further notice and hopefully they dry. It's fleece and it like absorbs it, but this says it's a camping blanket though. Anyway, I wanna get I wanna get a, like a lounge chair, like an actual lounge chair, and just be baking out here in the sun. As spring rolls around, the sun will be touching here more. Yesterday was a very good day for me, a very good day for me. I had a very like euphoric. Um, you know what it was? It was listening. It was listening to Beyonce's new songs, and then my neighbor came to knock on my door to ask me what song it was, and we were having a chat, and it was. <laughs> I'm coming out of my shell more. I'm realizing that I don't have to wait for people to ask before I'm like being expressive and like being jokey and like sharing information before i was very much like oh if they don't ask they don't care i have to wait to ask wait to ask and i'll spend the entire discussion like not participating and then blame them for it so i'm learning how to come out of my bubble more and then i was realizing that there's a part of me that is very like very much like a social butterfly that loves to interact that is very confident that can like set the pace and like veer the conversation towards like certain things and it's like I lost so many parts of myself that I'm rediscovering in a beautiful way and with this business I'm just incredibly grateful I can feel my relationship to money healing spirit of money what do you want to tell me spirit of money can I have a better relationship with you what do I need to do and I'm doing it in a way that honors my inner child, that honors my creativity, that honors what I really, really want to be doing. I always told myself that the way money comes to me is important to me. I want it to come in a way that's, like, profound to me. I don't just want to make it. I don't just want to, like, oh, the numbers are here, now the numbers are going. I want it, I want it to come in a way that even after the money is spent, I'm still proud of it. And even... Even if I wasn't making money, I'd still do it. 
and we're getting there now and i'm incredibly grateful it's been hard and it's been rough and i know it's gonna get rougher because that's just the cycle of things actually am i cursing myself by saying that maybe it can get better and easier better and easier but the thing is it's like ebb and flow yin and yang i don't think i'm necessarily cursing myself i think i'm just preparing for the thing the destruction that comes before creation because every time i'm breaking down and i'm built back up i'm like updated and then we're like it's like how like swinging on trees and climbing them and like um bending them is good for them because it shows them the weak spots that they need to like strengthen with growing that otherwise they wouldn't know of if you weren't like climbing them and bending them and stuff i think it's like that i'm like scared today but it's through coming to terms with my wounds that i'm able to like embrace and like I'm really sensitive and I've been like fronting like I'm not because I feel like that that is strength but I the, the damage is there and it's like is it gonna go unnoticed or are you going to address it and try and remedy it because I can feel it in my morale like when I'm feeling low or just to like inclination to be up on myself over the most minor things i like doing this to regulate vibrational beings it was like i like doing it a lot <laughs> i remember one time i was manic and i was receiving a lot of downloads and i was like I this was a day where I was very, very deep in my inner child, like singing along to the counting shows, like counting and then visualizing sacred geometry, like spirit going from one point to two points to three points and really feeling like I had the key to life, just being in fully in my child, just counting to 10. And I was doing a lot. They were re renovating the apartment down the hall and I was like, I am as automatic as the tools they're using and I just need breath to be my fuel and I can keep like... <laughs> mm. I'm realising that so much of the answers are, is like in the in the child in the child because then when i go into that then when i come out into my mask when i come out into my femme they're like they're evolved they're well improved i'm gonna start making fantasy i'm excited for that it's just like and they're just waiting for me to become who i need to become so that i'm in a place to attract them and we can actually be in sync and be harmonious because I want to be able to be like when I meet people oh yeah I have my own business like things are going good for me like I don't have to worry about asking you for McDonald's money if you invite me out like I'm gonna have myself together like things are aligning for me things are working out with me and I'm feeling good about my choices I'm feeling good about my choices I was thinking about my mom and I was speaking to her in a way that um like the more i'm able to understand i'm more i'm able to understand you more like the level of unsafety that you feel as a woman in the city how i'm able to give my son leo more love when i feel loved and protected the strain that poverty can put on your capacity to love the betrayal of entrusting someone to be like paternal and loving and safe or even just like a co like a partner and having them sabotage you because it's easier for them to tower over something that they've broken than to rise into their own manhood why did i leave because it got to a place where you sh my mother was able to make very very strong and villainous conclusions about me without discussing it with me first 
And it's like, that is not a safe space for my sensitivity, for my creativity to grow. It's very taxing to spend your time and energy trying to be understood or trying to fight against villainy that's being projected onto you. And it's like, as you're there, like, trying to fight against their projection, you're abandoning your own sensitivity and your inner child and the part of you that is pure love. They're not, they're not getting to flourish. And I see it as I we just needed the distance for what I had from my sensitivity to find its roots and to grow and to experience what is it what is it like? I met this partner when I was nineteen and out on my own. She met my dad when she was also nineteen. Like seeing how the cycles are continuing, seeing the decisions she made versus the decisions I made. I'm feeling um, the more time I spend, the more my empathy grows towards her. And it's like, I just feel like it was necessary. Because especially when I'm listening to podcasts and they're like, you choose your parents and they chose you and everything's mapped out. Like, I just see it as the distance is needed for growth and healing for us to come back together and reconcile in a way that we're not going to clash and destroy each other. I'm really hoping in my relationship that we're gonna stop I don't know it's been two years of it so like genuinely I don't see the the cycles of destruction ending I I I, I don't think I'm gonna have that with this person but I'm here for the growth and I'm here for the education but it would be naive of me to think that, oh, this is the time when he's seen. So unruly that night, the day after, it's taken quite some time for us to be able to get to a place of truth and a place of healing about what was happening between us. And OK, now you see. Cool. It would be naive of me to think that that inclination to attack me from a place of insecurity isn't gonna return it just comes back it comes back and it's such mm, I am preparing myself for that season to return but it's not it's not on the main banner it's actually on the back banner because my creativity me getting my life together no one's gonna do it but me no one's gonna do this but me getting it together, starting my business and living the life that I want. Um, it's important for me to see it as like, this is an opportunity to, to, to just live freely and live bored and live happy. Yesterday when I was experiencing my joy, I was like, this is it. Like, this is it. Just having good days, like being in it right now, like that, that's it, that's it. I'm creating a life of glee, of ecstasy, of joy. And while there will be points of turmoil and... They're going to build me and I feel like those storms are going to be, are going to, even though they'll get more severe, they're going to be shorter. And then the, the, the sunny days after are going to last a lot longer. Like we're going to prepare for it. Like, you know, when countries, they, they make their buildings like earthquake proof and they, they start to build and they start to fortify themselves in a way that protects them from disaster. I see that happening with myself. I'm scared. I just want to get back into my creativity. I just want to... Because I'm not even ready. I'm not even ready. As I'm talking like this, I can feel the fear because it's like... I'm not... I'm not like... When you're, when you're when I start to speak like that, I can feel myself calling it towards me. Oh, like, okay, Nancy, you're ready. Okay, let's start sending it in. And it's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Please just let me scrapbook. Please just let me be creative. Please just let me be in my feminine. I've been watching this YouTuber and, like, hearing her... I have seven pounds in my account and I had to give her five of it because it's like... I got, I got 20 over there. I'm good, I'm good. But just her advice is so golden and hearing her journey and even her talking about menstruation i haven't had my period in months i haven't had my period in months but her talking about it's just healing from my feminine hearing her talk about that like i'm not going to be able to get into to embody my masculine and my feminine isn't isn't like intact and isn't healed like in line with like my yeah 
I feel good about everything, but I don't want to call in something before I'm ready. You, you draw in what you're focused on, and right now I just want to focus on my creativity and my femininity. And when it does come time for me to butt heads, for my masculine to butt heads with his, because honestly, I think that's the main like rupture between us like when i start to come into my masculine and his one isn't gonna come into his so he has to destroy mine and tower over a frail feminine rather than us being two divine masculines when it comes time i will be ready but for now we are still in the i'm still in my sanctuary I'm just trying to heal my feminine because my masculine is going to be like. Destructive in a way that isn't productive. Wasting resources where we shouldn't. Focused in the wrong like Masculine is direct focused energy A to B. You need to make sure that what you're focused on has been informed of the feminine, the wisdom and the grace and the unlimitedness of the of the feminine to really be like okay this what we're focusing towards what we're shooting towards what we're aiming at is this is this where we should be expelling this kind of force because it's a lot there's a lot of strength and it's a lot of power but it's like the the window is is like the aim the focus of it if it's not hitting what you want it to hit I want to be the divine masculine in a way that isn't shadow and abusive and childish and destructive in a way that isn't good. I'm going to do this right. I'm going to do this well. Not right, well. I'm I'm going to do it in a way that works out towards me becoming my more well-rounded, balanced self. Connected as well. I, 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 I feel one thing I, I do feel coming towards me, like I'm on a boat and I'm seeing land now, whereas before it was just sea, is my connections. Seeing the days of him being like the closest person towards me, the my only like person that I talk to, that's gonna that's gonna go, and I, I feel that so strongly because I'm I'm becoming who I'm supposed to be, and the the function, the the synchronicity. That's gonna be between me and my band, my tribe, my the community, whatever. I'm seeing glimpses of it now. My like social stuff like starting to rise again in a way that is like it's just it's inside now. And the only one that can get in the way of it is me. So we're gonna do it well. Declutter, declutter, declutter and focus and honor your inner being and learn from others i'm really enjoying youtube please give me more recommendations of people that are on similar journeys because it's so helpful it's so helpful to hear someone just speaking casually about something that you called that like someone it's just nice it's just nice it's just nice because i'll be speaking about these things and it's like oh you're just waffling or oh it's just this or it's just that yap books and to hear someone just like come out of it because it's their truth and it's like you're looking in because you're living the same truth warm cozy cotton candy validation i love that anyway my brand's name is yappy because integration i like names that were given to me the name galaxy was given to me by a lady lady girl person tracy in my first year of college she was in second year and i felt so cool hanging out with the second year art kids and she gave me that name i had bright blue hair that went from black to dark blue to light blue and i'm pretty sure it was hair inspired and it caught on like a lot of people calling me galaxy even a teacher called me galaxy and i was like <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i i got it from there and I was going by Steve Vance, like Nancy Stevens. I could play on my surname for my Instagram, but that means that I put that to rest now because I'm no longer that person. But she is, she still lives, like, 
okay when I say I'm no longer that person I mean like more layers are there so like that person that that person that was like creative and explosive with her creativity who just started smoking weed he just started like who am I and what is this life stuff and started running towards her fears because the first time I was high was hell and I was like give me <laughs> let me not go off on a tangent but it's like that that is still there but the layers that go up around it like everything is preparing me for where I want to go like every time I hear oh we planned this all out stuff I'm like yeah it makes sense it makes sense it makes it makes a lot of sense um but yeah names that are given to me they mean they mean differently to them to names that I just come up with so like the name galaxy means a lot a lot because it was given to me like your your birth name is given to you there's something about someone giving me a name that makes me latch onto it way more than if I had come up with it myself and it wasn't like the comment I wanted to give me a name he just didn't understand what I was saying so then that was his comment but it's like this is early days of my channel like everything that I'm receiving I'm very sensitive to right now and and I want to have everything in the book or on my wall or in the bin because I want less clutter in here. I think the key to be in small spaces is to just be minimal. So I want to clear that out and have more space for just this. I'm excited. I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to be crafting. It's like, it's a thing like, even if it does, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be successful. But it's like, this is something that I'm happy to do for free. And I feel like those are the best things for me to go towards. Gardening, dancing, singing crafting sculpting i used to love doing stuff like this when i was younger and i really feel like i'm really honoring my younger self my inner child my inner being with this next chapter of my life just honoring my creativity in a really beautiful way <sighs> creating <laughs> creating I think I'm getting a cold. I think I'm getting a cold. I think, do you know who I got it from? I got it from my cat. <laughs> he came in, he was gone for like two days. And then he came back and I'm like rubbing my face and my cuddle like, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. 10 seconds afterwards, I'm like sniffling all over the place. <laughs> it was worth it. It was, it was, it was worth it. I didn't mind. Strength in my immune system. Look at this grow bar. The soil from the meadow is so good. I'm going to keep collecting it. I think next time I'm going to steal a shopping trolley. <laughs> and then put my, um, rather than carrying it on my head or getting my partner to like drag it in the bag. Because the bag ripped. It was not fun. Um, I think we're just going to get a trolley and then I'm going to put my like, big potters in there. Because the soil from the meadow is so soft where the trees have just fallen it is so soft it is so soft it is so good it's so rich and so brown so full of nutrients and it's just the perfect it's just what the garden needs to get ready for the spring to get ready for the bloom we already have lots of little things sprouting up which is good because the last batch of soil we got was a bit gravelly was a bit gray was a bit dull but I'm proud because life is still succeeding with the with with minimal to no direct sunlight. I think it will take until maybe like May until this place will get like direct sunlight. But life is still thriving. Life is still thriving. So this is catmint and catnip. And hopefully I can get this started well so we can have catmint and catnip in the garden which will be great for Rhea and Kiki it will be great for them oh this is a pretty jar this was a good price as well I'm excited to be packaging. I'm excited to be doing like thank you notes and putting little stickers. I want to get little stickers um, from 
there's just this company that you can order like little like thank you notes and packaging and stickers from and i'm excited to do that because i really one thing that i really wanted to do is really make sure that every product that i ship like has my love and my energy and my just all that goodness infused into it and i really like i really like the idea of like personally packing the orders i really i'm looking forward to doing that i'm putting all sorts of goodies in there stickers i want to come up with my own because everyone does stickers um i want to do i want to i want to i want to do like i don't know i want to come up with another like little freebie that i can put with my thing i want to make packaging that people keep you know when you go to people's houses and there's like night boxes or they got like a gucci box or they got like like perfume boxes i want to make packaging that people want to keep i want to make packaging that people want to display because that would be amazing for branding like like it's just on on display all the time and it's like just energetically that's the goal for me like i uh, probably to start we'll have to like do it like do scale slowly but that's the goal to have packaging that people want to display like it's so good it's so good it's a product within itself Mm-hmm. 